welcome to this special broadcast directly from our studios at Cornerstone Baptist Church in Oviedo, Florida. My name is Edgar Nazario, and today I have a special treat for all the women who are listening. But before that, I want to take a moment to invite you to our 2016 Women's Conference under the title, Seeking the Glory of God, with guest speakers Susan J. Hack and Martha Peace. Now stay tuned because at the end of the broadcast, we will let you know how to register for this conference. Uh, All the ladies who will attend this year will definitely have a time of fellowship, joyful worship, and biblical teaching. And speaking of biblical teaching, this year we have the blessing to have two very special women who are very well known for their biblical teaching among uh, women worldwide and their love for God's Word. I'm speaking about sisters Susan J. Hack and Martha Peace. Today we have the opportunity to have with us live via phone, Martha Peace. Thanks for taking the time to join us on this broadcast, Martha. Well, you're welcome, Edgar. I'm glad to be here. Martha, thank you for joining us once again in this very special broadcast. We're very excited and thankful to continue to cover the topics of our upcoming Women's Conference. Now, last time we talked and we looked at the second session you're going uh, to be talking, and that was a very, very interesting and hot topic. The title is Modesty More than a change of clothes, and you gave our listeners reasons on why this is one a topic that should be discussed and taught amongst Christian women today. I'd like to move to the third session that you'll be speaking on in our women's conference, and the title of the third session is The Goodness of God. Martha, being that you travel quite a bit and also knowing that you are very active as a counselor in your church and with women worldwide, uh, what led you to want to speak about the goodness of God in your last session? Well, I've been a biblical counselor to women for over 27 years, and some of them, not many, not many at all, but I would describe as just deeply emotionally disturbed, and they were very different in their backgrounds, um, their life, but they had... uh, two things in common. One was they were not persuaded of the goodness of God, and they were not grateful to God. And so after counseling for a lot of years, I I saw a pattern in uh, some of their lives. One of the uh, topics that has particularly interested me is the goodness of God. And uh, so one day I set out to do uh, some research and I looked up every word in the Bible that had the word good or goodness and uh, came up with different biblical principles. And I'm writing a book now that on Bible doctrine and one of the Um, chapters is going to be on the goodness of God, but I was very um, struck with King David's take on the goodness of God. When you read the Psalms, it, it comes up over and over again. For example, in Psalm 100, in verse uh Five. It says, For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. And then when I got to the New Testament, and um, I was also very taken by our Lord Jesus. He is the good shepherd. His sheep follow him. He knows their names. It it just um, the the whole topic is just wondrous. If we think about the creation and God's goodness, and uh, but people tend to not when when things don't go their way. They tend to be very self-centered, very man-centered, instead of having a high view of God and God-centered. And so this is a topic that is, um, we all need to be persuaded of the goodness of God. 
And that's easy to say, oh, praise God, he's good when our lives are going well and things are going well. But then when there is a trial and God is testing us, testing our faith, and molding our character into more and more Christ-likeness, that's when even through our tears we can say, as David said, uh, God is good, and we need to be fully persuaded of that. Thank you so much for making that point. Martha, what are the type of things that are hindering Christian women in their view of God and His goodness? A lot of Christians do not, maybe they're in a church where they're not taught very well, but they have too much of a man-centered view of God uh, instead of seeing God as their high king uh, in heaven. I remember as a new believer, I was age 33 when the Lord saved me, and I read the Bible for the first time. And I had, uh, I was a nurse. I, I uh, worked in pediatrics for several years, worked in a pediatric intensive care unit at a large hospital. And even as a new Christian, I began to wonder, why does God let little children suffer and die? And uh, then I, as I got reading through the Bible and I got to the book of Romans and I got to chapter 9 and it is very strong and clear on the sovereignty of God and um, he hardens some people's hearts and then he grants faith to to some people and um, it is he who has made us and not we ourselves and it just settled the issue for me this is God's creation and whether we like it or not we have a privilege to honor him to worship him and to for those of us that are born again we will spend eternity with him and there will be no more pain and, and no more sorrow and so we've, we have to humble ourselves and submit to his care over us. I, I just love how Daniel talks about God. He talks about him as the high king of heaven. And so many Christians, unfortunately, are just man-centered and self-focused and see God as someone here to serve them instead of bowing before him and uh, submitting to his care over our lives. Thank you so much, Martha, for sharing with all of our women listeners a little bit of the great teaching that is to come. You're welcome, Edgar. Thank you. And for all the women who are out there who are listening, let me encourage you to register today and don't risk being left out since we do have a limited amount of seating. Once again, come and join us in our 2016 Women's Conference under the title Seeking the Glory of God with guest speakers Susan J. Hack and Martha Peace. This Women's Conference will be hosted at Cornerstone Baptist Church. This is coming 15th and 16th of July. All of our ladies will enjoy a time of fellowship, joyful worship, and biblical teaching. So take advantage and register today online by visiting www.seekinghisglory.net. I'll repeat that again, www.seekinghisglory.net. Or if you have questions, feel free to give us a call here at our studios at 407-971-7685. 407-971-7685. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to seeing you at our 2016 Women's Conference. God bless you.